So inexpensive taxes in states like Florida can lower the cost of living, but there's more to consider if you're thinking about relocating to a warmer clime. When comparing the cost of living in Naples, Southwest Florida to your home state or just another locale in general, there's some key costs that you're going to want to see side by side. Hi, I'm Diane Harris with the Urban Group of Premier Sotheby's International Realty, and I'm here in Naples, Southwest Florida. I moved here from up north several years ago and was shocked by the difference in the cost of so many things compared to my former city and state. But the spoiler alert is it was because it was less expensive in Naples. So with that being said, let's do this. Taxes, ugh, one of the two things in life that are guaranteed, right? So roughly 950 Americans per day were flocking to the Sunshine State even before the pandemic, according to the International Sales Group's 2020 Miami report. And they were coming in large numbers from more expensive states like California, New Jersey, New York, Illinois, and more. While Florida has pretty great weather, it also offers an appealing tax climate. So residents here don't pay state income tax. We have low property taxes, low sales tax, and excise taxes, such as a tax that's placed on every gallon of gas that you pump into your car. According to WalletHub, in March 2021, New York ranked number one over the overall tax burden on residents at just under 13%. Yikes. New Jersey is number seven at 10%, and Illinois comes in right behind at 9.5%. California ranks number 10, but not 9.5%. And Florida, as a state, ranks number 45 on the list, with the overall burden at just under 7% in general. However, that number does not take into account the low property taxes here in Collier County, Ergo Naples. Residents here in Naples pay less than 1% of their assessed home value in property taxes. So specifically, Collier County Naples residents pay 0.69% of their home value in property taxes annually. So for a home value of 500,000, the owner will pay 34.50 approximately annually in property taxes. So that's a pretty big savings when compared to New Jersey, who has the highest property taxes according to Wallet Hub at 2.49%. Illinois, second highest at 2.27, and New York at 1.72%. So add in the fact that due to the Save Our Homes legislation, our property taxes here in Naples, Florida cannot increase more than 3% annually or the amount of the CPI or Consumer Price Index increase, whichever is lower. So your property taxes won't be skyrocketing even if your home values increase dramatically over the course of the year. So as your property value grows over the years, your assessed property value can only go up a maximum of 3% annually. And that savings is accrued, goes to your bottom line over the years, and it's tracked by the county and has a portability clause that allows you to take the accumulated tax savings within a certain range to a new residence if you move to a different home. So the Florida homesteading exemption also provides for a benefit of up to $50,000 off the assessed value of your Florida primary residence. So on average, that will save you approximately $450 or so on your property tax bill. And seniors who meet an income requirement may actually qualify for an additional homestead exemption of $50,000. So what else impacts cost of living? Well, utilities, they really need to be taken into account. So when comparing the cost of electricity, and keep in mind, our air conditioners here, they run almost all year long. And in Naples, Southwest Florida, it's actually the utility cost is 12.5% less than the national average, according to electricitylocal.com. So food and groceries, according to thebestplaces.net, they're about 17% more than the national average. However, when it comes to fresh local produce and citrus, we're fortunate to have a large agricultural area just outside the city here in Collier County. Farmers markets and local grocers are a great place to shop for the freshest local produce, citrus, and local fish and meat as well. So transportation should also be considered when you're addressing the cost of living. So this includes your average cost of gasoline, car insurance, maintenance, expenses, and mass transit fare for the area, or CAT as we call it. So the cost of a vehicle and any vehicle registration, license, and taxes are not included. And here in Naples, that transportation is actually almost 20% cheaper than the national average. So if you're comparing it against transportation costs in New York, their transportation costs are 125% more than here in Naples. Ouch! So health, which also includes the average cost of healthcare calculated kind of using a standard daily rate for a hospital room, cost of doctor's office visits, dental checkups, we're slightly above the national average here in Naples. But miscellaneous, which that's all the everything else, right? The goods and services not included, that would be like clothing, restaurants, repairs, entertainment. We're a little bit higher than the national average at 8.6% or so. But let's talk about what everyone is wondering. What about the housing costs here in Naples, Florida? 
So the medium home cost in Naples is currently $399,000. Now that's important to note that this is not the average or arithmetic mean. The median home price is the middle value. So when you arrange all the sales prices of homes from lowest to highest, so this is a better indicator than the average just because the median is not changed as much by a few unusually high or low values. So as you can imagine, a beach community like Naples has a very diverse selection of homes and communities. The homes all vary greatly based on age, condition, location, views, amenities, and the things that they offer. So whether they're in a community that's gated or not gated, we also have a variety of types of homes to choose from here in Naples. Um, single family homes, but we also have condominiums. Condominiums can be high rise, low rise, mid rise, and even actually a standalone home that looks like a single family. So we also have townhomes or coach homes and villas that can either be attached or detached. It's kind of like a duplex. There are so many choices in so many price ranges here. And when we start discussing amenities, and I'm talking about things like basic community pools or clubhouse fitness areas or resort style pools and expansive clubhouses, you know, many have restaurants, spas and the like. Most have tennis, pickleball, bocce ball. Some have golf courses, boating. There's just a lot of variables to consider when you're looking at real estate here in Southwest Florida. But it's important to keep in mind that as you move closer to the Gulf of Mexico, home prices do increase and your home values, particularly your resale value, tend to remain very stable. So if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch for a new video each Wednesday. Questions about real estate or lifestyle here in Naples, Southwest Florida, reach out, connect with me as I love, love it here. And I want you to love the way you live in Naples. Thanks for watching.